I'm ready. Okay, we are ready to begin round one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start the Timekeeper ready? Emma? Four, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was brown first. I apologize. Mine updated a little. So it was brown first. I apologize. Jaslyn. Six times four equals 24. Three times two equals six. Six times one equals six. Six times four equals 24. Correct. One point. Timekeeper ready? Party. Twenty six minus two is twenty four because two times seven is fourteen. Yeah, two minus seven, two times seven is fourteen. I mean, I mean, um, six minus six plus seven is thirteen. Thirteen times two is twenty six. Six minus two is twenty four. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Jalen. 19 plus 5 is 24. 8 plus 6 is 13 equals 13. And 13 plus 6 equals 19. And 19 plus 5 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Thank you. Timekeeper ready. Emma? Six times four equals 24. Seven divided by seven equals one. Five plus one equals six. Six times four equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Brown. Eight times three equals 24. Nine minus five equals four. Four plus four equals eight. Eight times three equals 24. Correct, sorry, I thought you heard me. Correct. Two points. Uh -huh. Timekeeper ready. Jalen. Thirteen plus eleven is twenty four. 8 plus 5 is 13, 
and six, eight. Thirteen plus eleven equals twenty-four. Eight plus five equals thirteen, and six plus five equals eleven. And oh, what was my last up? Oh, uh, um, oh, thirteen plus eleven equals twenty-four. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Jaslyn. Eight times three equals twenty-four. Seven minus five equals two. Two plus six equals eight. Eight times twenty-four. Correct. Two points. Time. Round is over. Okay, this concludes round one of the Challenge 24 competition. Great job to all players. Um, scorekeeper, can you please read the total score for each player? Yes, King has four points, East Clayton has two, Obama has two, and Brown has five. Okay. So now we are just waiting to see the next room that you um, players will be moved to. But you all did a fantastic job. Good job. Let me stop and refresh. And once we get the broadcast message, you all will be able to join your room. Great round, students. Great first round. We will be starting our next round in just a moment. And while we are waiting for that next round, I'm going to share just a moment. If you don't mind, Ms. Burden, I'm just going to share our slide about our and remind them again as we are, um, as we're sitting here waiting about our Make Math Matter celebration. That is our big celebration that we do every year. That is our huge 
opportunity to to just shower congratulations and honors on our on all of our great students throughout the year who have made math matter who have made a, a point of making math matter and this year it will kick off on pi day march the 14th 2022 so students make sure you are marking your calendar more details to come great first Great first part of the semifinals. One more part of the semifinals to come before we figure out who are the finalists. Okay, so we did just, re oh, I'm sorry, that's third grade, my apologies. Okay, I'm going to refresh very quickly just to see if anything was updated. And then you'll be able to move to your rooms. Okay, we are ready to move to our next room. Let's let's move to the next part, next leg of the semifinals. After this, we will narrow it down to our top four. Okay, so here are our room assignments. Kavaris, I believe you're in room two, sir. You can go ahead and move. You're in room two. Jaslyn, you're in room two. Jaden, you're in room two. Brennan, you're in room two. Jalen, Jalen Cantrell, I'm sorry. They're, oh, that's Jaden and Jalen. You're in room one. Emma, you're in room one. Ariel, you're in room one. And Caleb, you are in room one.
if you have your um, second round students, you can get them started. Okay, I was waiting for the message. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Welcome players to round two of the Challenge 24 competition. I am Mrs. Burden, the moderator for this round. Assisting me are our console judge, Mrs. Harding, scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins, and timekeeper, Ms. Callier. This is room, oh, <laughs> this is room one. Students, please make sure that you are in the correct room. Ms. Perkins, please verify players are present and record their names on the score sheet. Ms. Perkins, are you in here? Okay. Okay, we're waiting for our scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins, to return. Ms. Perkins, are you, I think I see you. Yes, I'm here. Are you back? Okay. Yes, I couldn't get back here. Oh, no worries. We waited for you. <laughs> All right. So who do we have this time? The same students? Uh, no, we actually have um, Ariel and Caleb that are joining us. So um, if you want to... Um, verify that the pl the players that are in our room are present and then write their names on the score sheet. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Okay, whenever they're ready, they can go ahead and put it in the chat box. Okay, so students, please type your school code and press enter to test your chat box. Ms. Perkins is going to verify that all of you were able to buzz in successfully. Okay. Emma was able to buzz in. Jalen was able to buzz in. Okay. I'm still waiting on let me see. Ariel and Caleb. We located them and we are moving them now. Okay. okay. And they should be popping in right now. Okay, I'll just Welcome, Ariel and Caleb. Um, can you please type in your school code and press enter to test your chat box? And Ms. Perkins is going to verify that you were able to buzz in successfully. All right, Caleb was able to buzz in. And Ariel was able to buzz in. Okay, Mrs. Harding, are you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Perkins, are you ready? 
I'm ready. Ms. Callier, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we are ready to begin round two. Round three. I'm sorry, round three. <laughs> Timekeeper ready. Emma? Ten plus fourteen equals twenty-four. Oh my god, I'm afraid. Okay. Fifteen divided by three equals five. Fifteen minus five equals ten. Ten plus fourteen equals twenty-four. That's correct. One point. Timekeeper ready. Emma? 20 plus 4 equals 24. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 7 minus 3 equals 4. 20 plus 4 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready? Jalen? 28 minus 4 equals 24. 14 plus 14 equals 28. 5 minus 4. 5 minus 1 equals 1. I mean 4. And 28 minus 4 equals 24. Correct. One point. Time to keep it ready. Emma? Six times four equals 24. 24 divided by two equals 12. 12 minus eight equals four. Six times four equals 24. Correct. One point. Timekeeper ready. Ariel? 4 equals 24. 17 minus 9 equals... 17 minus 9 equals 8. 8 minus 4... 8 minus 4 equals 4. Time. Thank you. Okay, that's a penalty. Was it time for the card? No, her okay. she had timed out on her answer. Okay. Emma. Time. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh. Time's up for this card. Timekeeper ready? Emma? 24 times 1 equals 24. 20 plus 4 equals 24. 11 minus 10 equals 1. 24 times 1 equals 24. Correct. One point. 
Timekeeper ready? Caleb? 12 plus 12 equals 24. Four plus Four plus 12 plus 12 equals 24. 4 plus 8 equals 12. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 12 plus 12 equals 24. Correct. One point. That is the end of the round. Oh, way to go, students. In just a few moments, we will find out who will move to the next round of the competition. So let me stop sharing and go to Good job guys, great job. Okay, so as soon as the results are tallied, we'll find out. I apologize for that. There was music and I didn't share my sound. My apologies.
All right, we can refresh your screens. We should see the students going, moving on to the final four. Well, actually it's the final five because we had a tie within the top four. So we ended up with the top five that will be moving to this room, staying in this room to compete for the top four. Ooh. All right. So give us just a moment and we will pull, I don't know if they're all, they may not all be in this room yet because it's because the, you guys were split between two rooms. Let's get all of our top five into this room for the finals. But while we're doing that, great job to everyone. Challenge 24 is a challenging, a difficult um, competition. It is a competition of fluency, precision, speed, and you guys, to make it this far is amazing. You guys are outstanding mathematicians. Well done, everyone. And so we're very proud of you all. And we are excited to move on to the final round with our fourth graders. Give us just a moment and we will get the rest of our fourth grade uh, final round players. Okie doke. Miss Burden, I believe your um, fifth, fourth grader just came in. So are we ready to begin? Yes, ma'am, for the finals. Okay, welcome players to round four of the Challenge 24 competition. I am Mrs. Burden, the moderator for this round. Assisting me are our console judge, Mrs. Harding. Hello. Our scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins. Hello. And our timekeeper, Ms. Callier. Good evening. Okay, we all are in round one. Ms. Perkins, I mean room one. Ms. Perkins, can you please verify that players are present and record their names on the score sheet now? All right, so Ms. Emma is here. Mr. Jalen is here. Caleb is here. And Jaslyn is here. 
and Ariel's here. So all five players are here. Okay. Players, please type your school code and press enter in the chat box. And Ms. Perkins is going to verify that all of you are able to buzz in successfully. Okay, so Jalen has buzzed in, Caleb has buzzed in, Emma has buzzed in, Ariel has buzzed in, and Jaslyn has buzzed in. Okay, Mrs. Harding, are you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Perkins, are you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Callier, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we are ready to begin round four. Players, please type in your school code so that you are prepared to buzz in. Round four. Timekeeper ready? Ariel. Eight equals 24. 12 minus nine equals three, three. Five plus three equals eight. 16 plus eight equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Ariel. Four. Two times nine is 18. 18 minus six is 12. 12 times two equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Ariel. 54 minus 30 equals 24. Six times nine equals 54. Six times five equals 30. 54 minus 30 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Jalen. Twenty five minus one is twenty four. Seventeen plus eight equal twenty five minus one equals twenty four. Equals twenty four. Seventeen plus eight equals twenty five. 17 plus 8 equals 25, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 25 minus 1 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Ariel. 
35 minus 11 equals 24. Five, five times seven equals 35. 10 plus one equals 11. 35 minus 11 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready? Caleb. Twenty seven minus three equals twenty four. Sixteen times two equals thirty two, and thirty two minus five equals twenty seven. Twenty seven minus three equals twenty four. Correct. Three points. This round has ended. Okay, so in just a few moments, we're going to find out our students who have placed. So let me stop sharing.
All right, we can refresh for fourth grade and reveal our top four competitors for the 2022 Challenge 24, our top four competitors. Okay. So for fourth place, we have East Clayton, Emma Arfani. Third place at King Elementary, Jalen Cantrell. Second place we have at Kemp Elementary, Caleb Stembridge. And first place at Mount Zion, Ariel Cosby. Congratulations to all students. Wonderful job. Um, so students, you can enjoy watching the rest of the competition here in Zoom as a spectator or you can watch on YouTube and I will put that link in the chat. But remember, if you choose to stay here in the Zoom as a spectator, you can no longer use your chat or camera, okay? And you can only watch the participants as they are competing. So again, we want to say congratulations to all the students for making it to the district level Challenge 24 competition. You all are invited to attend the Make Math Matter celebration. The celebration will kick off on March 14th, 2022, but more details will follow. Thank you students, parents, teachers, administrators, and community for supporting our students today. And this concludes round four of our Challenge 24 competition. So congratulations to all players. And I'm gonna drop that um, link in the chat. And as Ms. Burden said, you are welcome to stay and watch the next grade levels as we work through the rest of the grade levels, but you will watch as a spectator or you can watch them on YouTube. Thank you for dropping that link for them, Ms. Burke. You're welcome. Okay, so let me get ready for our next grade. Good job to all. Yes, Emma, you are free to go, dear.
Mrs. Harding, I sent you a, a, a chat message. Can you read that and just give me a thumbs up? Excuse me, can anybody hear me? Excuse me, can anybody hear me? Yes. Uh, uh, can somebody send me to room five? I'm supposed to be there. Room five? Yes, ma'am. Miss Clark, are we able to do this? Miss Lee is doing it right now. Okay, thank you.
the high school students um, were in the wrong room, but they are here now. They should be moving here now. We just located them. So they should have moved and be, they should be ready to go. I, I think that when they tried to come back to the main room, I think they may have knocked themselves off the broadcast. So give them a second. They were they were here. So give them okay. a second to to log back in. Um, we're <laughs> looking for Taylor Malone. Um, I'm trying to remember who else. Okay, we're doing high school and not middle. The high school group is coming in. Okay, so let me switch my slides. Um, Taylor is currently in the main room one. Let me go over there and ask her to move. She um, she did, and then she disappeared. So I think she may have, in trying to move, I think she may have knocked herself off the broadcast. Oh, did, oh she's back in. I see her.
I believe our high school students are in the correct are in the room now. We have Savannah, Christian, Taylor. We're missing Emily. I see yeah. Emily. Okay. Yep. Emily, oh, Emily had not shown up. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah Emily. That? Yeah, Emily we're not Simon. the same. Yeah, uh, Elite, Emily Lane? No, no, no that's Amali. Amali Lane? Oh, which, which Emily? Who's Forest Emily? Park. Emily Forest Simon. Park. Oh, okay. Park. Uh, you know what, Dr. Clark? No. I think what's happening is we have some middle schoolers in here and then some high schoolers. Amali's in eighth grade, according to her. Um, Log in and Christian, what grade are you in? Christian? I am in third. Yes, third. This is for this is high school. Miss Walker, quick question. Did Emily Simon from Forest Park not show up at all today? Correct. Okay, so we do have Savannah and Taylor located in this room. Okay, okay so we're just continuing with, with Savannah and Taylor. Um, we, it does look like we have some high schoolers that are sitting in student support. That's um, Caleb Turkson, um, Shreya, and Eduardo are still sitting in student support. Okay. But for room one high school, we are good to go. So since Emily is not here. Okay. Welcome mathematicians to round three of the Clayton County Challenge 24 competition. I am Mrs. Burden, the moderator for this room. Assisting me will be console judge, Mrs. Harding. Hello everyone. Scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins. Hello everyone and timekeeper, Ms. Callier. Good evening. This is room one. Students, please make sure that you are in the correct room. Ms. Perkins, can you please verify our players that are present? Yes, I see Savannah and Taylor. Thank you. At the bottom of your window are buttons to turn on and off each microphone and camera. For this competition, when we say mute, we are asking you to turn your microphone off. When we say unmute, we are asking you to turn your microphone on. Each school in violation, including players, coaches, parents, and visitors will receive one warning. If a second violation occurs, the school will be removed from the competition. During the competition, players must keep the camera on and all others must keep the camera off. The chat box will be used to buzz in. Now, students, Savannah and Taylor, because you both are from Elite, the way that we are going to distinguish you when you buzz in, I want you to put your school code and then the first letter of your first name. So Savannah, you will be your school code S and Taylor, you will be your school code T. Uh, Ms. Perkins, can you please verify that players were able to buzz in successfully? Yes. 
Ms. Taylor has buzzed in and Ms. Savannah has buzzed in as well. Thank you. Okay, when providing an answer, if you think you know the answer, please buzz in just like you just did. You're going to wait until Ms. Perkins calls on you. You're going to provide a, your solution. Now, just as a reminder, the number nine is filled with red to differentiate it from the number six. Now, you must follow these steps when providing a response. The first thing you're going to do is state your last step within five seconds. Then you're going to complete your three-step solution with, within 25 seconds, and you must end your solution with the same last step that you first started with. You may make corrections as long as you have not completed all three steps, and you still have 25 seconds of time remaining. So if we look at the example card, um, I would buzz in and say 19 plus five equals 24. Five times three equals 15. 15 plus four equals 19. And 19 plus five equals 24. The player called on by Ms. Perkins may answer the question. The player will have five seconds to state their last step and 25 seconds to state the remaining steps. The player can make corrections as long as they have time remaining. Note, students may only correct the steps during the 25 seconds. Okay, let's look at penalty flags. If you are correct, you're going to earn the number of points that are on the card. If your response is incorrect, you will receive a penalty flag and other students that buzzed in can reply when they are called on. Now, a penalty flag will be given to you if you do not announce the last step within five seconds, you cannot complete the solution in 25 seconds, you give a solution that is incorrect, or you provide a response without being called on. The scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins, will note penalties on the score sheet. Before each card is displayed, the timekeeper will type C followed by the question number in the chat box. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Students, type your code in now, but do not hit enter. Are there any questions? Mrs. Harding, are you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Perkins, are you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Callier, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we are ready to begin Ladies round and gentlemen, three. Let's start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Timekeeper ready. Savannah. Thumbs up. Taylor. 18 plus six equals 24. Six times three equals 18. Five plus one equals six. 18 plus six equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Savannah. Eight by three is 24. Six divided by six is one. Four minus one is three. Eight by three is 24. Correct. One point. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 
14 plus 10 equals 24. 8 plus 6 is 14. 5 plus 5 is 10. 14 plus 10 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 17 plus 7 equals 24. 14 minus 10 is 4. 13 plus 4 is 17. 17 plus 7 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Savannah. Six by four is 24. Two divided by two is one. Four times one is four. Six by four is 24. Correct. One point. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 24 times 1 equals 24. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. 24 times 1 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 24 plus 0 equals 24. 17 minus 17 is 0. 14 times 0 is 0. 24 plus 0 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Time keep ready. Taylor. 12 times 2 equals 24. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. Correct. Three <clears throat> points. Time keep ready. Savannah. 34 minus 10 is 24. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 17 times 2 is 34 minus 10 is 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Sailor. 28 minus 4 equals 24. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 minus 4 is 4. 28 minus 4 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 15 plus 9 equals 24. 8 plus 7 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9. 15 plus 9 equals 24. All right. <clears throat> Points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 54 minus 30 equals 24. 9 times 6 equals 15. 6 times 5 is 30. 54 minus 30 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 29 minus 5 equals 24. 17 plus 12 is 29. 3 plus 2 is 5. 29 minus 5 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Savannah. Eight by three is twenty-four. Fifteen divide fifteen minus seven is eight. Twelve minus nine is three. Eight by three is twenty-four. All right. Three points. This round one has ended. Okay. Um, this concludes round three of the Challenge 24 competition. Great job to both players. Ms. Perkins, can you please read the total score for each player? Okay, I'm calculating now. Give me about one minute.
All right, so the final scores, Ms. Savannah, you have eight, and Ms. Taylor, you have 23. Okay. So what we're doing is waiting for them to get finished in the other rooms and then we're going to move rooms. Thank you, Ms. Burden, absolutely. Congratulations, well done. Great first round to our high school students. You guys are killing it. Um, we know it gets, we know for high school, it gets harder as we go along. Eventually we will see those, a, a few of those double wheels as well. Um, we are, we will have some fifth grade students coming in for their final round while we wait for the other high school group to finish their first part of their semifinals. And then we will do part two of the semifinals and the finals of high school and really reveal our top four for high school for 2022. Okay, so, so you, you guys, if you guys want to, um, our high school students, if you want to oh, hang tight oh, here. You can, oops, sorry. If you want to hang tight here, you can, or you can, um, if you want to see the other group compete in this part, um, while since you're still waiting, you can also do that. They are competing in main room one. And our fifth grade students will come for their very final round in just a moment. They're, they're getting their results right now. I have a question, so. Um, with these rounds, is it like um like we're re like of course we doing it again? Why are we redoing the rounds from like starting over as it was on Saturday? And if so, how many more rounds after this would it be? So after this, the rounds will will um mix up. So anytime we have um more than five, we mix them up because if, if we have to separate you into two separate groups then we know there could be an advantage. For example, if I'm in a, if I just happen to be in a group with someone that's really fast, then I could have a disadvantage because I might have had known those same cards. And had I been in a group with someone that was just a little bit slower, um, I may have had more score, more points than the person that was in the other group. So rather than um, taking just that first round, there's always two rounds when you have two separate groups, at least two rounds so that you can mix up the groups. So we'll do two rounds. The next round, we'll mix up the group. We'll do another round. And then from those two rounds, we'll take the combined score to get the top four. And the top four will go head to head. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good question. And our fifth graders are, are getting ready to move right now. I hear her releasing them to move to the main room for their finals. And by the time they are done, we should be ready to do our second round for high school followed by our finals for high school.
Thank you for your patience. We're just trying to locate the remaining player. So we'll begin shortly. Okay, I believe we have our fifth graders, our fifth grade finalists are in the room. Sounds good. Okie doke. Round four. Welcome players to round four of the Challenge 24 competition. I am Mrs. Burden, the moderator for this round. Assisting me are our console judge, Mrs. Harding. Good evening, everyone. Our scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins. Is Ms. Perkins in here? Yes, yeah, hold for one second. I have Grayson's parents on the line. Okay. Hold for one second.
Let's begin. Welcome players to round four of the Challenge 24 competition. I am Mrs. Burden, the moderator for this round. Assisting me are our console judge, Mrs. Harding. Good evening again, everyone. Our scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins. Good evening, everyone. And our timekeeper, Ms. Callier. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Ms. Perkins, can you please verify that players are present and record the names on the score sheets now? Yes, Grayson is here, Ethan is here, Leon is here, and Bo is here, Bo is here. Okay, players, please type your school code and press enter to test your chat box. Ms. Perkins is going to verify all of you were able to buzz in successfully. Yes, Ethan was able to, Grayson was able to, Bo was able to, and Leon was able to. Great. Mrs. Harding, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Ms. Perkins, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ms. Callier, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, we're ready to begin the final round four. Players, please type in your school code so that you are prepared to buzz in. <clears throat> Timekeeper ready? Leon? 12 times two equals 24. 16 minus 9 equals 7. 7 minus 5 equals 2. 12 times 2 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready? Time's up. Timekeeper ready. Time's up. Timekeeper ready. Grayson. 
17 plus 7 equals 24. Got my answer by 2 divided by 2 equals I mean, equals 1. 8 minus 1 equals 7. 17 plus 7 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Grayson. 25 minus 1 equals 24. I got my answer by uh, 10. 10 divided, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Never mind. We still have time. Time. Time people ready? Grayson. 29 minus 5 equals 24. I got my answer by 16 times 2 equals 32. 32 minus 3 equals 29. 29 minus 5 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Right. This round has ended. Okay. So in just a few moments, we are going to find out who our Challenge 24 winners are.
Okay, scores are in. So let me stop sharing to the fresh. I will be share. Let us refresh. Okay, let us see. So we have in our 2021-2022 fifth grade challenge 24 winners. In fourth place from Arnold Elementary. Can you please come off mute and say your name for us? Because I definitely do not want to mispronounce it. Val Hawk. Okay. In third place from Terra Elementary, we have Ethan Kelly. Ooh. In second place at East, East Clayton, we have Leon Wynn. And first place at Michelle Obama, we have Grayson Curtis. Yay, good job to all of you. We are so excited and congratulations to all of our Clayton County Public School students. Okay, so just to remind you, um, congratulations to all of you for making it to the district level challenge 24 competition. You all are invited to attend the Make Math Matter celebration. The celebration will kick off on March 14, 2022, and you will re be receiving more details about that later. Thank you students, parents, teachers, administrators, and community for supporting our students today. This concludes round four of the Challenge 24 competition. Congratulations again to all our players. Great job. Good job, guys. Great, great, great job. Great job, all of you. Congratulations. Now my fifth grade contestants, if you wanna stay um, on, you can stay on to watch the final round of high schoolers, but you're going to have to turn your cameras off and just be a spectator. Or I'm going to drop the link in the chat and you can watch it on YouTube. So let me do that very quickly. Okay, that's not the link. <laughs> okay, I got to go and grab it. Just give me one second to grab it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm dropping it in the chat now. There you go.
Miss Hardy, I just sent you a message. Savannah, if you will go to main room one breakout. And then I think um, Ms. Burden, we have the, I think we have our high school students that need to be in this next round. Thank you. And to be clear, this is the semifinals and then we have a finals after that, correct? Yeah. Yes, this is the second yeah. part of the semifinals for high school. And then we will have the finals for high school and we will be done. Okay, I just want to make sure I was in the right place on the card deck. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So Savannah, we should have um, in this room, we should have Eduardo, Taylor, and Caleb. And then Savannah, Shreya, and Emily should be in um, main room one breakout. So Shreya, you should be in main room one breakout room. Did she leave? No. Mm -mm. Okay, I think we're, we've got them in the right place now. I'm so sorry. I'm talking away and I'm on mute. Okay, so let's start this again. Welcome players to round the semifinal round of the Challenge 24 competition. I am Mrs. Burden, the moderator for this round. Assisting me are our console judge, Mrs. Harding. Good evening, everyone. Our scorekeeper, uh, excuse me, I just lost my place, Miss Perkins. Good evening, everyone. And timekeeper, Ms. Callier. Good evening, everyone. Okay, so Ms. Perkins, can you please verify that players are present and record their names on the score sheet now? Yes, Caleb is here. I just saw Ed Eduardo is here and Taylor's here. Thank you. So with this one, I believe there is a slide after it. So I need to go over these new cards. Okay, so you must follow these steps when providing a response for the variable cards, okay? You're gonna state the variable within five seconds. You're going to complete both wheels within 25 seconds. You do not have to start the solution with the variable number. You may make corrections as long as you have not completed all three steps and you still have 25 seconds remaining. So for example, if you look at the card on the screen, a variable number can be four. So on the left, for the left wheel, you will say seven times four equals 28. 
Five minus one equals four, 28 minus four equals 24. And on the right will, four plus four equals eight, eight minus four equals four, and six times four equals 24. Were there any questions? Okay, players, please type your school code and press enter to test your chat box. Ms. Perkins is going to verify that all players were able to buzz in successfully. Yes, Taylor has buzzed in, Eduardo has buzzed in, and Caleb has buzzed in. Okay, so we are ready to begin our semifinal round. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 22 plus 2 equals 24. 10 plus 12 is 22. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 22 plus 2 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Time keeper ready. Taylor. 6 times 4 equals 24. 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. 6 times 4 equals 24. Correct. Two points. I'm keeper ready. Taylor. 18 plus six equals 24. Six times one is six. Six times three is 18. 18 plus six equals 24. Correct. Two points. I'm keeper ready. Taylor. 24 times one equals 24. Eight times three equals 24. Nine minus eight is one. 24 times one equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 25 minus 1 equals 24. 13 minus 8 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 1 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 28 minus 4 equals 24. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 minus 4 is 4. 28 minus 4 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Eduardo. 15 plus 9 is 24. 11, 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 plus 15 is 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 46 minus 22 equals 24. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 23 is 46. 46 minus 22 equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Caleb. Eight times three is 24. 
Uh, six minus four, uh, four is two. Five minus two is three. Three times eight is 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 25 minus 1 equals 24. 23 minus 22 is 1. 15 plus 10 is 25. 25 minus 1 equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. Um, the number is 7. On side A, 7 plus 7 is 14. 7 plus 3 is 10. 14 plus 10 equals 24. On the right side, 8 minus 7 is 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. Correct. Um, okay, I don't know how to read the points on here. Ms. Perkins, do you know the points? No, I don't know how to read these points either. Can anyone, uh, Dr. Clark, or did you pause, Miss um, uh, Callier, the yes, time? I did. Okay. Um, um, give me one second, Miss Burden, and I'm going to find out right now. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> no problem, because I don't know either. Mm -hmm. Two points. They are all worth two points. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 54 minus 30 equals 24. 9 times 6 is 54. 6 times 5 is 30. 54 minus 30 equals 24. Correct. Three points. 
Timekeeper ready? Taylor? 29 minus 5 equals 24. 17 plus 12 is 29. 3 plus 2 is 5. 29 minus 5 equals 24. Correct. Two points. This round has come to an end. Okay, so in just a few moments, we're going to find out who will move to the final round of the competition. Way to go, students. Way to go.
you can refresh. Okay, so these are the players that we should have in here for our final round. Eduardo, I see you. Caleb, I see you. Um, Savannah, I don't see Savannah or Shreya. Give them about one minute. Um, they oh, are going to come out of their breakout room and I am going to update the scorecard for the final round right now. Okie doke. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Perkins. Yes. Since we have four students that are in elite, how do you want to identify them? Do you want um, Taylor and Caleb to do the first letter of their um, first name and then Savannah and Shreya to do the first letter of their last name since they both begin with S? Yes, and I'm just gonna end up calling their first names, but that's fine. Eduardo, Taylor, Caleb, Savannah, and Shreya. I'll call their first names too. But yes, we can do it that way. Okay. Thank you. Yes, we actually had a couple of ties. And so we ended up doing a five person finals. But the top four will be the will are the ones that will be named at the very end. And the scorecard is uh, is updated as well for the final round. So we are good to go. We are good for the very last round of the very last group of the night for the Challenge 24 Finals 2022. Yes, high school finals.
All right. Welcome players to the high school finals of the Challenge 24 competition. I am Miss Burden, the moderator for this round. Assisting me are our console judge, Mrs. Harding. Good evening, everyone. Our scorekeeper, Ms. Perkins. Good evening, everyone. And our timekeeper, Ms. Callier. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Ms. Perkins, can you please verify the players that are present and record their names on the score sheet now? Okay. Ms. Shira is here. Savannah's here. Caleb is here. Eduardo is here. And Taylor is here. All five players are here. Okay. Um, so players, because there are four players from Elite Scholars, the way that we're going to um, code you when you buzz in, um, Taylor and Caleb, you're going to put your school code and the first letter of your first name. And Savannah and Shreya, you put your code, but put the first letter of your last name. That way we can um, differentiate which Elite. And Eduardo, you'll just do your Forest Park code. Are we good with that? Okay, so players, please type your code and press enter just to test um, your chat box. And uh, Ms. Perkins is gonna verify that all players were able to buzz in successfully. Okay, Taylor buzzed in, Shira buzzed in, Savannah, Caleb, and Eduardo. Good. Oh. All right, Ms. Harding, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Ms. Perkins, are you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Collier, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna be ready right after I read this slide. I just remembered, okay? We Round four. All right. I have to go over the directions again, once again for this slide. So you're going to follow these steps when providing a response for the variable cards and there are it says last 10 cards, but they're mixed in, okay? You're gonna state your variable within five seconds. You're gonna complete both wheels within 25 seconds. You do not have to start the solution with the variable number. You are allowed to make corrections as long as you have not completed all three steps and you still have 25 seconds of time remaining. So if I look at the card that's presented as an example to me, the variable of this card can be four. So on my left wheel, on, on my A wheel, I can say seven times four equals 28, five minus one equals four, 28 minus four equals 24. And on my B side, the right side, four plus four equals eight, eight minus four equals four, and six times four equals 24. Okay, so players, please type your school code in to get ready to buzz in, but please do not hit enter. And we are ready to begin our final round. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 16 plus eight equals 24. Nine minus seven is two. Two times eight is 16. 16 plus eight equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. <clears throat> Taylor. Six times four equals 24. Five minus four is one. Three plus one is four. Six times four equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Shira. Six times four is 24. Six minus three is three. Three plus one is four. Six times four is 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 25 minus one equals 24. 23 minus 22 is one. 10 plus 15 is 25. 25 minus one equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 
Taylor. The number that goes in the middle is six. On the right side, nine times four is 36. Six plus six is 12. 36 minus 12 equals 24. On the left side, seven minus six is one. Three times one is three. 21 plus three equals 24. Correct. Two points. Time people ready. Taylor. Eight times three equals 24. Seven minus five is two. Two plus six is eight. Eight times three equals 24. Correct. Two points. Time keeper ready. Shira. And the number that goes in the middle is two on the right side. Eight times three is 24. Six divided by two is three. 16 divided by two is eight. Eight times three is 24. On the left side, it is, oh, excuse me, I had the wrong one. Say over. The number that goes in the center is two. On the left side, nine minus eight is one, 13 minus one is 12, 12 times two equals 24. On the right side, 16 times two is 32, six plus two is eight, and 32 minus eight equals 24. Correct. Two points. Time to keep it ready. Shira. Eight times three is 24, nine minus eight is one, one times three is three, eight times three is 24. Correct. Two points. <clears throat> Time keeper ready. Savannah. Eight times three is 24. Six minus four is two. Five minus two is three. Eight times three is 24. Correct. Two points. Time keeper ready. Taylor. Six times four is 24, two divided by two is one, three plus one is four, six times four is 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. Eight times three is 24, two plus two is four, four minus one is three, eight times three equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. Eight times three equals 24. Four divided by four is one. Seven plus one is eight. Eight times three equals 24. Correct. Two points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. 30 minus six equals 24. Seven minus one is six. Six times five is 30. 30 minus six equals 24. Correct. Three points. Timekeeper ready. Taylor. The number in the center is one. On the right side, 11 plus 11 is 22. Three minus one is two. 22 plus two equals 24. On the left side, I'm, I'm sorry, that was the right side, the 11 plus 11. On the left mm -hmm. side, 16 minus 12 is four. Four times one is four, and six times four equals 24. Correct. Two points. This round has ended. Okay, hey, so in just a few moments, <laughs> we're going to find out our top four winners. My job is to make college easy.
Okay, looks like our results are in. So just give me one quick second to refresh. Okay, so here we go. In third place from Elite Scholar, Savannah Tran. In second place from Elite Scholars, Shreya, can you come off mute and um, say your name for us? I do not want to mispronounce it. Good job. My, my name is Shreya Jokowati. Thank you. Thank you. Second place. Yay. And in first place from Elite Scholars, Taylor Malone. Very good. Oh, my goodness. You all did wonderful. Good job. Excellent job. Excellent job. Yes. But all Those of variables. It. You make me, I have to go practice my variable <laughs> challenge 24 now. Um, so I just want to remind you that um, it's wonderful that you made it to the district level challenge 24 competition. You all are invited to attend the Make Math Matter celebration. The celebration will kick off on March 14th, 2022. You will be receiving more details as it relates to this. Thank you students, parents, teachers, administrators, and community for supporting our students today. And this concludes our high school final round of the Challenge 24 competition. Congratulations to all the players. You did wonderful. And you all are dismissed. Thank you, good job to everybody and congratulations to my elite family. Oh, elite family. Boom. Good job. Good job, guys. Great job. You kept me Good on my job. toes. Since <laughs> Saturday. Good job. Awesome. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks for sticking around with us so late in the night. Um, we appreciate all of your hard work. Students and volunteers, I can't thank you guys enough. Congratulations to our winners. And I hope you guys all have a great day tomorrow. Thank you. You all enjoy your, your night, your evening. See you later. Volunteer squad, you guys are out of here. Even if there was another round, we're not making you do it. I pinky promise. So y'all have a good night. Thank you all for your help. Um, we really, really, really appreciate you guys. It couldn't be done without y'all. Thank you so much. Thank Did you. Did you all sign out? Did you all sign out? I'm going to right now. Oh, yes. Let me, um, <laughs> we got to email our, who else, who just signed out? Our scorekeeper and our console judge, right? Miss Burden and Miss Perkins. Yes. Okay. Let me just shoot them a quick email. Let them know to sign out because I forgot to, to tell them. Thank you so much. Let me do okay. that right And now. we're done. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. All right, Thank good night. You. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, yes, you can say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, well, these two ladies are staying with us, so I'm sorry, baby. Hello, Miss Maddie. Hello. <laughs> That's <laughs> Charlene. Do you know Miss Perkins' Charlie. name? Not her first name? Uh, Shali. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay, thank you. So we're just waiting on the seventh grade finals to, to end. That's what it looks like, yo. Yep. Okay, I just shot them an email and let them know to sign out.